Hi there, I just wanted to share a quick little uh, audio solution I found online. Uh, when this little guy was uh, first announced uh, about six months ago, I got pretty excited about it because I thought that it could be a pretty elegant solution. Uh, it took a little longer to come out than uh, I anticipated, uh, but here it is nonetheless. Uh, it's now out and available. Uh, I picked this guy up from a uh, store online for about $45 shipped. This is called the iRig Pre. Uh, and I'll apologize for my crummy video. This is uh, handheld. I don't have a tripod with me right now. Um, so this little guy is uh, designed for primarily sort of using with an iPhone. Uh, but the benefits that it has is it has a uh, XLR connector, uh, which is sort of a new thing. And then it also has uh, not only a uh, normal mode, but it also has phantom power available. Now, for anyone that uses professional microphones, this is a big boon because this is one of the smallest and least expensive devices I've ever seen that has any type of fountain pa phantom power. Uh, it takes a 9-volt battery in the back, and uh, it has a, actually even a strap, so you could uh, connect that to your camera rig somehow. Now, uh, build quality of it is not too bad. It's sort of a cheap, plasticky type thing, but for 45 bucks, I'm definitely not going to argue. Now, one of the other issues is that it has a TRRS connector or tip ring ring sleeve because so, it's designed to use for eye devices. So, um, the way that I've gotten around that is I just picked up a cheap little adapter. You can get these for a couple bucks online. I think I paid about $250 for this. And uh, what this is for is it's designed for using your uh, headphones from a, like an eye device, like an iPhone or iPod uh, headphones on a computer um, with microphone and headphones. So what that does is it breaks it out into two connectors. So you have your headphone connector and your microphone connector. Now what I've done is um, basically plugged it into my uh, 5D Mark III and uh, you use both connectors. You have to use the microphone connector and the headphone connector. Uh, because there is a fairly significant limitation to this device. It does have a little headphone monitoring port, and when I first picked this up, I had hoped that the headphone monitoring port would uh, basically be connected to the internal preamp with this, but it's not. It actually comes from your eye device back through and it actually feeds out of that. Now, the advantage to this, if you're using a camera such as like the 5D Mark III, that has a dedicated headphone output is that the monitor actually comes directly from the headphone output of the 5D Mark III and uh, that way you know that you're getting a true monitoring and you're not going to lose your audio signal. The downside is that if you're using a camera such as the 5D Mark II uh, which is what this is being shot on, uh, unless you do a hack like a magic lantern or something, you're still going to have to hook up some sort of other solution such as like a little headphone amp or something like that to actually monitor audio in real time. So the way that this works is basically you plug these guys both in, so you'd have to plug in both the uh, headphone and microphone connectors. And then this just plugs in there you monitor your audio off of here or alternatively can still monitor it right off of the camera. Now this does have adjustable gain control. Um, the way that uh, best way to get audio off the 5D Mark II or III is to set your audio as low as possible and use the gain of an outside preamp. Uh, I haven't done really extensive testing because I just got this a couple days ago um, but from what I can tell the gain from this is very clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up, I have a Sennheiser ME66 and I'll hook it into the Mark III and uh, give you guys a little test of what that sounds like. Alright, so uh, once again I'm going to apologize for the uh, video quality. So as you can see, this is hooked, uh, I have it, just as I showed before, hooked into my uh, 5D Mark III. I've got a Sennheiser ME66 uh, sort of jury rigged up here. Um, it's just hooked right into there. It's running off of the phantom power. If I uh, come a little closer into the microphone, you can hear that it's actually a very nice clean gain. And uh, it's got the gain control right on the uh, actual little eye rig there. So I can turn it up and turn it down uh, very easily right from the little device. Um, so there you go, uh, 45 bucks. Um, I think that it's you know a very good value for something that has a uh, built-in preamp and, um, and phantom power as well. Uh, just remember that you're going to need that little adapter for it as well.